Greetings everyone and the warmest of welcomes to Sepang International Circuit in Malaysia. We are here of course for round two of the Idemitsu FIM Asia Road Racing Championship and while the on-track action begins tomorrow, today we're taking the opportunity to get together with some of the strongest and most exciting contenders in all five racing categories to give you some insight into what you can expect from the weekend's action. To set some context, 2022 saw some of the tightest championship battles in the entire 26 year history of the ARRC. And the beginning of this season promised more of the same. At the end of March, you will recall, we were in Thailand for round one where we saw ferocious battles in all classes and some impossibly close finishes, including one race which finished with a 1,000th margin between first and second, and another in which one second covered all 13 finishers. Part of the reason for this level of competition is that all race classes have been enriched this season by new talent and galvanized uh, by resurgent riders uh, who are coming back to form in, uh, in all classes in fact. So we're going to be talking to some of those riders today and the first riders to join us are those who came out on top in Thailand and therefore emerged as the early championship leaders. So I'm delighted to welcome Haruki Noguchi, Nakarina Tirapuvapat, Reza Danica Arens, Hafisa Rofa, and Warapong Malahuan. Haruki Noguchi, I want to yeah. start with you. First of all, congratulations on uh, a superb performance uh, and indeed a comeback yeah, yeah. Uh, in uh, the ASB 1000 race category. Coming back to ARRC after last year's incident, what were the real challenges you faced as you came into practice, qualifying, and then the race? Yeah, last year I had a big injury, and then I had surgery, but uh, so in practice in round one, I feel really tough for body because uh, I cannot satisfy for about the training in this winter, so feel no good condition for muscle or something, so it's still really tough place. Okay, and when you got to the race, you, were, you had loads of pressure. You, yeah. took, you took a double win, which was phenomenal. Yes. Um, but you, you did that, you had to fight really hard in, in both cases. What were the obstacles that you had to overcome to yeah. achieve that? Yeah, in the race, for, uh, for this year, the new BMW was uh, quite fast, which is uh, on the straight, also cornering. So last year, I think I just think oh, for the just corner cornering, but uh, this year I have to think for how to make the race on the straight cornering or something. I have to choose the which is the best line for on the straight or something. So really. The stress point is like new BMW and some Honda guy, also everyone. Yeah, the competition, the, the competition run runs really deep in this uh, in this category. Who do you think is going to be your strongest rival this season? Yeah, I don't know. I, I cannot decide because uh, it's not enough to choose the rival in this time because uh, now just starting on this year and the uh, new BMW now maybe coming improve and uh, someone now struggle or something so I cannot decide now next round I will I will talk to you <laughs> <laughs> well we're looking forward to that and we're looking forward to seeing how you get through uh, get through this weekend too so you mentioned your your Honda there I mean it's obviously a superbly uh, set up machine yeah. Uh, have there been any changes for this season? No, no. This year, it's not changing the bike. Just on, uh, but some part I 
I change the uh, like front fork or something, but uh, normally almost same is last year. So I have to just think for the setup the bike, so it's not difficult. Okay, so turning now to this weekend and Sepang International Circuit, this was the scene of your first victory in yeah, yeah. ARRC, and then later on you took another one uh, when we came here for uh, for round four. Tell us about this, uh, your impression of this circuit and your particular strengths here. Yeah, I feel I think this circuit is really interesting track for our riders because uh, it it's not simple. Like when the brake hard braking, S curve or something, so we have to find a good reason for this circuit. So, but maybe I I just I can think about the reason for this circuit, so I'm a little bit good at for this circuit. And uh, the weather is unpredictable here. Weather? The weather, yeah. I hope no rain in this You're weekend. For I no, hope you're if for rain, no rain is okay, but uh, if rain, like, it really, maybe big changing on the position for the championship and a uh, little risky. If not, think the championship, maybe someone go on in front, but I, I have to think about the, for the championship point. So I don't want to make a big risky. Fair enough. So finally, uh, you've got a growing army of fans. I have a lot of friends in Japan who have nothing to do with racing, and yeah. they all seem to know who you are now. Would you like to uh, give a shout out to, uh, to those guys and do it in Japanese? Yeah. Firstly, thank you very much for always supporting me. And uh, I hope I will make a good race in this weekend like land one and uh, I will show the how to improve from last from last round so I want to say that please checking this our YouTube or Facebook live thank you very much and in Japanese uh, with Japanese okay えいつも皆さん応援ありがとうございますえあの開幕戦では2連勝することができて え、すごい良かったんですけど、まあ、あの、体的にも第2戦の今の方がえ、かなりトレーニングもできて練習もできて仕上がってると思いますので、え、今回はさらにいい走りやレースができるように頑張りますので、またあの、YouTubeとかF
yeah, I think everybody. Not so easy. Yeah, there's something for everyone here, right? That's, that, that's apparent. Okay. And looking now, thinking about your team now, um, can you tell us something about what it's like working with uh, with your team, and um, and how you how you develop the machine? Yeah, I want to say Tai Honda for helping me a lot. And this year we working together and try to uh, share information and develop the buy, and we are improve a lot from uh, law one. And uh, I will try for victory for the team. Okay. All right, so Chip, thank you. Uh, that's some good, really good insight into the circuit and uh, and your team. And of course, we uh, we wish you the best for for this weekend. Uh, last, would you like to uh, talk to your fans in Thailand and give them a shout out? You have a whole load of fans there, I know. So, what would you like to say to your fans in Thailand? Yeah, for my fan, please cheer me up and uh, my team Honda Racing Thailand and give me support and uh, give me inspiration for push hard for Lao 2. I will do my best and give this out for your fan, for, for all fan. Thank you very much. And in Thai? I want to fan fan of Thai share and Team Honda Racing Thailand. We will do our best to do the best. Do the best. Thank you. Thank you, Chip, and uh, all the best for this round. And let's move on to the the leader, and in fact, double winner from round one, uh, Razor Danica RNs for the AP250 category. First of all, Razor, congratulations. That that was just um, such a good, such a strong performance throughout testing and the uh, and the races um, you didn't seem to make any any mistakes but could you tell us did you experience any challenges in round one uh, for the first round the decision in the beginning actually is a little bit difficult because in the 250 we have new tire we, we have some problem but we working together with the team, but finally we have found the strong point and do the good race for last season, uh, last first round. And you have some really strong teammates as well. Yeah, you've come in. Yeah, the, this season also we have new young young rider. He also quite strong, and maybe make me make uh, our race more, maybe more more tough. Yeah. So, what what is new for apart from your teammates? What what else is new this season in terms of the machine or the team? What have you changed for 2023? Actually, almost similar like la last year. No, no, no big change. But some back have uh, some testing also have new part. But everything, I think, like same like last season. So tell us, how long have you been now with uh, with Astra Honda? Uh, I joined uh, Astra Honda Racing Team in 2016. 
uh, in the first race in the national but until now also we have maybe around few few years but also the team helped me many many time to achieve the good result also give the good training in home in Indonesia also make preparation for every race and do they help you with your personal preparation and training yeah yeah so for example do you uh, do physical training gym do you do that on your own yeah also everything for preparation everything together yeah I can imagine looking at uh, how the team is so tight okay so we've had a bit of a gap between uh, six weeks or so since round one how have you been uh, keeping your technique sharp and your skills what have you been doing yeah uh, after round one normally we have some training also testing in mandalika also maybe this round i have more preparation but maybe this sepang also a little bit tricky track not easy but i think okay for this week yeah for you what are the main challenges of sepang i think the spang also long stri uh, track in in this uh, calendar also many technique not, not only many straight but also different character many uphill and downhill maybe a little bit challenging for me yeah so as a rider overall because you do you, you look so much like the complete package but what would you say your strengths your main strengths I think because in Sepang a little bit complicated last year no the last time here no not have the good result but here uh, after first round I think we have more confident also last time result very nice maybe I will bring the good vibes for this weekend that sounds good and of yeah. course you are a, a former uh, AP250 champion from yeah. 2018 I think uh, which means that you have a whole load of fans uh, back at home in, in Indonesia would you like to uh, give a shout out to your fans uh, and you can do it in, in uh, Bahasa oh yeah uh, untuk teman-teman uh, di Indonesia jangan lupa support saya untuk minggu ini saya akan memberikan yang terbaik untuk Indonesia dan juga Astra Honda Racing Team thank you Thank you, Reza, and uh, all the best for, for this weekend. Thank you. So let's move on now to Hafiz Arofa, who, of course, is leading the, uh, the Underbone 150 category. Um, Hafiz, uh, first of all, it was awesome, as usual, uh, watching you in, uh, in round one. Uh, so congratulations for what you've achieved. Um, could you tell us something about your experience in round one? Because it's so difficult to win in your class. What was your overall impression from both races? Uh, for me, from the Saturday in round one, I, go, I have a good feeling, which is I got uh, pole position in qualifying. It's make me comfortable. Uh, I got a pole position and I try to win in the race one, but we mistake on the setup and I finish uh, P7 and we changed something in the race 2 and I tried to manage the race and win the race. Yeah, so how do you put together in, in a class where so many people are capable of winning? How do you put together a strategy for a race? Uh, for me, no strategies but the important thing is uh, the last two laps, because in other underbone categories, uh, everybody can win uh, because it's only one group, the big group, until the last lap. And the most important thing for me is the last two laps. Uh, we need to manage uh, where we are and try to catch up the last corner and go for it. 
Yeah, so Hafisa, now we're at Sepang. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, we believe it's uh, your favorite circuit, perhaps. What would you say are your uh, strengths and what are the things you need to look out for here? Um, I think no strength, but uh, I have a good mileage in this track, uh, which is, is my uh, home race. But I got uh, the feeling is a little bit pressure when you say the home race, but I managed uh, to keep calm and try the best every uh, session. Right. Now, thinking about your team, communication is, uh, is important. How do you work together on the machine? I, I mean, I've seen on your social media that the machine's coming together, nice preparation. Um, normally, uh, before the race, like the home race, uh, we go to the uh, workshop and we discuss before we go the, uh, to the track what we do, what we want to use. And also yeah, at the circuit, uh, normally after the session, we like to talk with uh, data tuner and the uh, mechanic uh, what to do, what to improve. And at the point, I think, uh, that is an uh, important part for me to talk each other because we need to be improved every session. And yeah, I hope this weekend will going well. All right. Thank you. Now, I just want to reflect a little bit on your career because last season, it was really for me anyway, last season where you emerged so strongly as a, as a contender in the, in the championship. Could you tell us a little bit about your career and how did you get that breakthrough last season? Uh, last season uh, is not bad for me because I always uh, on top five position, but maybe I have some issues with I didn't ma uh, manage the race properly and it's not difficult, but needs to keep calm and manage the race. Okay. Well, it's been good to see your uh, your emergence, and we, of course, we wish you the best for uh, for this weekend. And uh, would you like to uh, give a shout out to your fans in whichever language you prefer, or more than one? Uh, for the fan fans or oh, right, TKKR Racing Team, uh, jangan lupa support kita orang di Sepang Circuit. Uh, datang ramai-ramai pada minggu ni, uh, free entrance. Uh, wish me luck. We wish you luck, Hafiza. Uh, all the best for, uh, for this weekend. Thank you. And uh, let's move uh, finally, but not least, to Warapong. Uh, Maluhan, <laughs> thank you for staying with us. <laughs> um, Warapong, congratulations. You had an amazing first round. Thank you very much. You got a, a double win uh, in round one at, uh, at your, your home circuit in the TVS Asia One Mate Championship. But you had to fight really hard to, yeah. to, to get both wins. And that uh, very tight one thousandth of a second victory margin I mentioned earlier, that was you in race two, right? So um, tell us a little bit about uh, your, uh, you, yourself and how you see your rivals and what's different this season? This season is uh, for the TVS, ac one May is high competition with the, uh, now is the rider Joy in the credits class is have a high, high skill and uh, have a lot of experience and a world class and uh, Moto2, Moto3 and uh, all Japan rider is joined together make a big uh, difference for the last year because it's the last year is uh, the lap time and now it's more improved a lot yeah you've got some really strong riders from yes. other classes and young riders coming through yes it's a really fascinating uh, contest to uh, to watch for us um, and uh, what about the, the machine? We've seen that developing in the last year. It was, of course, this round 
last year where the series, the TVS Asia One make, made its debut. Uh, and we've watched the machine developing. Are there any differences for this season? For the last season, we, we used uh, the, the normal, normal tire, but this year it's be land with uh, the slick tire. We can is uh, fulfilling with uh, the contouring the bike, and uh, the TVS bike is more improved because it's uh, last year it start up for the for the TVS machine in uh, the fast tech and uh, international tech, and then is uh, now the the team have uh, information for the last year. For sure, this year is a big improve for contouring on brake and, and braking and, uh, and for the top speed. And uh, we, we have step by step all the time for, for, for improve the bike. Yes. Right. And not only are the, you the early championship leader, but you're the defending champion. So what kind of pressure do you feel? When you're when you're riding now, and uh, and how do you deal with it? Uh, I nothing. I nothing is about is forgot only. Uh, I need to win. I just uh, try to my best and uh, make a step by step for uh, get try to getting the more point. This I think is totally is uh, make me is uh, relax and uh, can make a champion in the this year for I, I i don't just only forget or i need to win i need to push too much but i need to keep the point and need to is uh like a lead leg all the rest and uh enjoy with the rest not 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 this uh push too much yeah so as a rider where do you feel your strengths are in general on a circuit is it in fast sections technical where are your particular strengths uh I I like the uh the circuit you mean the circuit right I I like the circuit is technique use the technical and uh, can is uphill downhill sometimes is uh, on straight as I is uh, the device uh, not can follow but cannot overtake but okay I can use some technique in uh, uphill and downhill somewhere in the in the in the circuit for sure in the same similar in Sepang. In Sepang, yeah, in Sepang is have a take use a technical too much in the first sector and uh, last sector. Its last sector is downhill and so is high speed in the curve in before before last corner. Yeah, and compared to other circuits, how do you regard Sepang? Yeah, in the Sepang is I think it's sector three. Is uh, I think I hope I strong there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not your home track. You were at your home track last time. How yeah. do you feel being here at Sepang? Oh, uh, you mean you're uh, in the Sang, right? Yeah, that was your home track. Now you're away from home. How yeah. Do you, how do you? Feel I think about it's uh, almost same my home, my 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 home race same because it's, I start here is uh, two thousand ten. It's a really long time to riding here. I, I know where I strong, and uh, I can put the potential with the bike. Is uh, is I can put the maximum in here and Buriram is for sure because it's a, like a home race. Right. So you have more than one home track. Yeah. Okay. So I know that you do a lot of training behind the scenes. Could you talk a little bit about what you do behind the scenes to keep yourself in such strong form? Uh, after the race, all, all I always is uh, practice is uh, with the uh, ABRP racing training program, and uh, because it's how many uh, new generation rider and uh, gentleman rider need to training with me with my program, and for sure, after the race we have the schedule for for the running, for the training with the mini bike, cycling. And but my favorite is the need to running. It uh, use the short time for for exercise. Right. Well, we wish you the very best for uh, for this weekend, Rora Pong. Yes, yeah, thank you. Very and much. Uh, finally, you should give a shout out to your fans, and you can do that in any language you like. The first one in English, but okay. <laughs> uh, in the TBS class, this year is so high competition, and 
Peace you, support us, support me, and support the TVS team for the competition. You never know who is win for the race because it's last, last round is so much, it's very fun and really close for the left time. Please support us and she asked. Thailand guys, okay? <laughs> ติดตามเชียร์พวกเรานะครับนักแข่งใน TBS Asia One Max นะครับก็ตอนปีนี้ก็มีทั้งนักแข่งโมโตทูโมโตทีนักแข่งออสเตรเลียแฟนมาแข่งร่วมกันในในรายการนี้ก็เชื่อว่าจะทําให้สนุกสนานแล้วก็เชื่อว่ารายการ TBS เนี่ยจะเป็นอีกหนึ่งแรงบันดาลใจให้กับทุกคนที่อยู่ในเอเชียแล้วก็ในนักแข่งของประเทศไทยที่จะมีเวทีในการแข่งขันรายการเอเชียโรดเรซิ่งครับเชียร์พวกเราครับเสาร์ที่นี้ Thanks very much, and thanks to all you guys for getting us off to such a flying start for ARC round two. It's coming up to lunchtime here in Malaysia, so we're going to take a break and be back with you at 2:30 local time with more rider interviews covering all classes. So join us again then. And uh, this is the Idamitsu FIM Asia Road Racing Championship. We'll see you a little later.